I definitely think it's a good idea to wait a little bit before getting into a relationship after getting mm-hmm. sober, which is so you can kind of clear out the, the cobwebs and stuff. And yeah. everyone's different. Like, I mean, I'm just starting to, to, to date right now. And I've like tried at different points in sobriety and only till now is where I'm actually able to kind of have success with it. And it's been about mm-hmm. six years. So it's, uh, it's definitely different for everyone. However, mm-hmm one of the big traps that you see people fall into is they replace the weed with a girl or a guy mm-hmm. and the, the person becomes their new crutch or addiction. And mm-hmm. so th- again, that's why I think we both kind of recommend having some time away to like, make sure that you're okay by yourself before you, you meet someone in, and it's only going to improve your self-confidence, your self esteem mm-hmm your Mm -hmm. ability to communicate like you said Mm because i know (laughs) i couldn't have a conversation after i it was just like it was near impossible so like what how does your partner does she know about your kind of using and stuff Mm -hmm. i'm pretty sure she does now (laughs) seeing i have almost over 80 episodes on the podcast and the whole freaking my you know youtube channel but um no I, I told her like there was a point where we sat down and i said listen this and this happened because of this this and this happened and that's who i am i just laid out my cards I actually to be honest she was one of the first person i was straightforward and I said okay this is who i am what do you think and she said <laughs> oh, i you know like seriously that's how it was like i you know i just laid out my cards and it was like yeah okay like i love how bluntly you said that pun intended <laughs> like yeah because like i don't know i just I, I you know i feel like when you go through a few partners and when you go through ordeal like you know abusing or anyone for a few years and then trying to stop it for a few years and you are unsuccessful for quite some time. You're like, you go through some things that are not uh, changing in a way. So yeah. like, I feel now nowadays, I just don't have time for like games and, and like this, like, mm. okay, let's let's see what we are. Like, I'm not going to tell you if we, whether I'm serious or not. And, you know, like all these things that I taught in my 20s that are like making relationship like fun and and and, and like you know spontaneous actually just bullshit i was reading on some dating forum so yeah i just i I, honestly i just i mean not to the beginning obviously but when we got to know each other better and when we kind of said okay let's let's move in together and stuff i laid out my cards and i said okay Okay. i want to make sure you know a few things and you know oh man that's awesome uh i'm sure a lot of folks will get advice from that with the dating Uh, Mm -hmm. i think that's a really that's tough to do is to be able to just be honest and open and mm-hmm. kind of say, Hey, take, take me or leave me. I know it's something yeah. I've struggled with in dating because well, a lot of people use substances, whether it be drugs, mm-hmm. alcohol, you name it. Um, not so much marijuana. I think like, I think it's like, it's rare to meet someone that's really like addicted to weed. Like they're out. I mean, sure. There's tons of people out there, but like there's, it seems almost like when people are really addicted to weed, they're unable to kind of function well. It's like difficult for them to to have success or, or in life and stuff. And where people that can drink, they can go do it. So I've definitely found that too. Like sometimes I'll, like I've been on dates and I've said like, hey, like by the way, I, I like don't drink or I don't, I've had a problems with weed and stuff. And you can tell very quickly how long the dates can last by their reaction. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so with, with your girl, did you, how'd you guys meet? Um, we actually met online. And okay. Awesome. Yeah, we, we started kind of talking from it. We were talking for a while and yeah, then, you know, I kind of pursued it. Um, she, she put interest in as well. And yeah, then things started moving. But to what you said earlier about telling people like beforehand, I don't drink and I don't smoke. I, I, I wouldn't do that. Like I just, you know, I just, I, you know, if they would come, I mean, if we would go for a restaurant and she would want to order some alcohol, I would say, yeah, order alcohol. I would say, I'm, I'm not gonna drink alcohol. And that's it. Like I wasn't like kind of a beforehand say, okay, listen, this is what I don't do and this is what I do. Do, like, do you know what I mean? 
I don't know. I just like I never because then it's almost like. Anyways, it is. I don't know. I just I never like you know even with the people I meet like if we go to um like I don't have problems going into dispensary. I don't have problems okay. being around people that smoke weed. I don't do it, but I don't have problems if you do it. But if you ask me to buy weed or if you ask me to buy alcohol, I'll probably say no. I'll say this: yeah. you figure this one out. I don't. I'm not gonna do this for you. But I'm not gonna go like kind of a in front of the people and say, listen, I just want you to know this and this and this doesn't roll with me. You know what I mean? Okay. So that's I, that's I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why when, I mean, when you know when we went out for the first time um i knew she was drinking and to be honest i was drinking before as well but for the last kind of a two three years i just i don't know i just stopped drinking obviously with the weed you know anyways and i just said yeah like have a drink i don't mind i'm, I'm not gonna drink but have a drink i don't mind it wasn't like you know i don't know i felt like it's almost like it's almost like you, you put up a little bit of pressure on where it's like, oh, I just want to let you know, like, I, you know, I don't want to drink and I have troubles with weed. So it's almost like, oh, my God, what am I doing here? You know what I mean? I don't know. That's my that's my kind of uh, thing. But it might I might be wrong. I don't know. I just I never like kind of put it forward. Just when it comes to the situation, I said, listen, I'm not drinking, but you're fine to go. I don't mind, whichever. But obviously, if it goes too much, like. I wouldn't be necessarily staying with the people that keep drinking like one or two drinks. Yeah. That's fine. Have it around, like have it. But then when it comes to the point where it's like not constantly drinking, I would leave because I'm like, dude, like uh, obviously we have different, um, different versions of having fun. So, yeah. Right. And that's what exactly what I was, I was getting at. Like, mm -hmm. um, like I definitely don't like when I'm, meet people like for lunch or like in business mm -hmm. or something i'm not like by the way my name my <laughs> i know i know i know i just want to let you know yeah like, that, yeah that guy yeah. um it, it is more like for for dating because and i and i even don't i don't even do it like dating like hey before we begin this date <laughs> i gotta let you know something um, yeah it's, it's, it's like if it comes up in conversation yeah. it is just a good way to i think screen like potential partners that are gonna like I mean, sleep in your bed, for example, like, yeah. hey, is this like, do I want to let this red flag <laughs> like into I'm my not... home? Um, yeah, yeah, but you see, I mean, yeah, in a way, in a, I agree with you. But then I realized, like, you know, sometimes I think we do this because we almost, I don't know, I realize not everyone have problems with weed or alcohol. Like some people can right. drink one or two glasses. So yeah. for you to then go and say, listen, just for you to let you know, I'm not drinking and, you know, I had problems with it. So you're already kind of setting the pre of like, okay, so there must have been some sort of issues that, you know, you are dealing with or you haven't dealt with or you will be dealing with in terms of, you know, alcohol and weed. So I think it's an opposite red flag okay. rather than red flag for you, if that makes sense. You know, you oh. see what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like they're like, wait does he think i have a problem yeah exactly. yeah or either or either way or like okay he must okay. have had a problem right which i did <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah yeah which is fine yeah but i don't know i'm just you know i'm at this point where it's like listen i'm not gonna like you know i, I don't go out with this freaking tag on my on my on my forehead saying i don't drink i don't smoke please stay away please don't do that like you know if you drink and smoke that's fine i don't yeah. and that's why i choose um and yeah that's it right but, but honestly like i don't you know no one really knows and to be honest like you can you can say as much as you want at the end of the day it really depends on the type of the person you meet and what character and are and totally know, yeah. yeah oh that's a no i appreciate you uh bringing that up and like us mm -hmm. having like this different approach like yeah there's definitely different ways to approach it um mm -hmm. yeah i'm definitely gonna think about that though like does does talking about the addiction issues uh and i think it does like i mean like at this point when i bring mm -hmm. it up around people that use there's gonna be it's gonna get uncomfortable like it's like there's it's like a guarantee at this point i just don't care mm -hmm. anymore. Um, yeah. and it's almost like i don't know i guess for me it's like a way to say like 
to see how how they react so maybe it's maybe it does come maybe it does come out of insecurity like maybe i worry like mm -hmm. oh man is this person actually an addict where will they like if i let them in my life is are they are they gonna be like dysfunctional or whatever so it could mm -hmm. be my like my wall of self-defense so that's good yeah well i mean I guess that's what I'm getting at, because if you tell someone from the beginning, oh, by the way, this and this and this, it's me. It's almost like, you know, you're kind of you're kind of putting yourself. I don't know, I just I just think this should come like pretty naturally. And, and you know, if there is a situation, you'll be like, listen, if you want to do it, I'm fine. You, you're fine. I'm not going to do it. And that's it. And then if they want to explore it further on, like, you know, some I don't know, I noticed that some girls don't don't eat like uh, raw meat like you know what i mean i wouldn't go then like oh why you don't eat raw meat or like a girl probably wouldn't tell me from the beginning oh by the way i don't eat raw meat so can we please not you know what i mean like i think when you find the real person or the you know when you find that person i don't think they're gonna mind seriously like you know like looking at my partner uh you know the amount of stuff that i told her that i did like she was just like yeah but you are who you are now like that's in the past you know so i yeah. don't think they're gonna mind but i just think that i don't know i guess my thinking for that what you said earlier like you know telling them beforehand i think that might be a little bit too much for a first or second date mm -hmm. but it might not be it might I be hear, like I, I on the it. other side yeah. like thinking now it's almost like but yeah but then it's either like either you take it or not which which i think it's fine as well but sure. i think to, i think the right person joel i don't think they're gonna mind cool. and to be honest man like there's there's eight billion people now like you know it's all like there's no point of getting stuck upon someone that doesn't like you or someone that doesn't accept you as you are like if that's mm. that's the case then just 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 move on and, and like you you know eventually you'll find someone who will accept you as you are anyways if that's yeah. that's the case you know yeah and guys um, this goes to to like more than just dating this goes to friendships mm -hmm. work relationships all the above mm -hmm. like so i think this is some great lessons here that can be implemented into all areas too more than just just like romance and stuff like that we have we have some deep conversations today <laughs> but i thought we uh, smoked a little something beforehand <laughs> no we don't need that <laughs> no man, we're dude. good without that just like that yeah we are yep guys what i don't know guys what you'll realize is that sober conversations are just fantastic like we it go gets so random sometimes yeah. though don't they oh yeah i know that's and it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually like stuff that matters for well, yeah maybe to us all right compared to like when we were stoned it was like i don't know like how yeah. did this table get this color it's <laughs> like 30 minutes yeah long. yeah, okay. yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.